So I just got back from seeing Captain Marvel in theaters, and I have some things to say. First of all, this movie did not deserve the hate it is getting online. There are Marvel movies that are far worse than this movie. I definitely think it's better than like Ant-Man and the Wasp. People say this is one of the worst Marvel movies. I want to remind you that Thor The Dark World and The Incredible Hulk exist. Before we get into what I didn't like, why don't we talk about some of the cool things in this movie. The action and effects in this movie were really, really cool. I loved the way Kara's energy blast worked. They looked really good. I especially loved her binary form that she used in the final battle in the movie when she went like what people are referring to as Super Saiyan, which I think is funny. When she went Super Saiyan and was flying around in space blowing ships up. And it was just a level of power and coolness we haven't really seen in the MCU. Even the way she takes off into the air at the end of the movie is very Superman-esque and it's really cool. Brie Larson and Captain Marvel looks really good and I don't mean like she's a little or anything like that. I mean like the costume design, like the way her outfits and her costumes look is good and it translates well to the big screen. I was a little concerned because I felt Wonder Woman's outfit, which is very similar to hers in color scheme, didn't translate well, but they managed to make the bright blues and reds work really well on her costume. I do wish we could have gotten more of her in her classic outfit. Well, her you know, her outfit that she has in the comics now. I wish we could have gotten more of her in that and lots of her in the blue Kree suit. But I understand the whole point is supposed to be her embracing her Earth heritage. While I will say I think the directing overall was kind of bland, I did really enjoy the shot of her getting up while she's fighting the Supreme Intelligence and it's like cutting to different shots of her rising up throughout her life. I felt that was really good. It was really well directed. I like the message of she always gets up, but they don't have to say it because the directing there is so solid. The technology used to make Samuel L. Jackson look really young in this movie is amazing. Nick Fury may be my favorite part in this movie. Like, he was just a lot of fun. Like, he's definitely a far cry from a Nick Fury we are familiar with, but with especially well contrasted with Nick Fury appearing in the Far From Home trailer before the movie started. But it just, he's not a different character. He's funny, he's lighthearted, he's cracking jokes, he's playing with the cat. It just, he must have gone through some stuff in those like 20 years before Avengers. The movie concerns what most people theorize being that Captain Marvel was what inspired Nick Fury to create the Avengers initiative. All the supporting characters were well cast and well acted and they were just a lot of fun. However, for me, I think the weakest part of the movie is everything before she gets to Earth. That's because, if I'm being completely honest with you, I felt Brie Larson, Captain Marvel were very bland, I guess you could say. It's not that she did a bad job, because I can't point out any moments where I couldn't buy her acting. It's just that a lot of these big MCU actors, Chris Evans, Robert Downey Jr., Scarlett Johansson, they have this, like, air of charisma, this, like, glow to them that makes them seem larger than life and really stand out on screen. They have this large, entertaining personality that is, like, captivating, and they're really good at making you want to watch and care about these characters. Brie Larson just does not have that in this movie. I'm not quite sure why, but the whole movie, she just feels like she's just kind of there. But once she arrives on Earth and she's playing off with Nick Fury, she's great. I definitely think she will be more fun in team-up movies with other characters. Be like, Brie Larson is not a bad actor. Doesn't seem like she's quite perfectly into the role yet. And she's also being compared to actors that have been doing it for a few years now. She's one of the newer recent additions. Also worth noting that they did not really have much to work with with her character. Like, I honestly couldn't tell you really anything about Captain Marvel personally after seeing this movie in terms of just overall personality, like a hobby or anything. I couldn't tell you nothing like that. Just because, honestly, nothing really exists. Like, they're basically working with nothing because she doesn't really have a personality in the comic. Another problem I have with the movie was actually the soundtrack. It's not a bad soundtrack, but the problem is that a lot of it felt very tacked on. 
and it didn't feel like it always fit the theme. It just didn't work very well, and it kind of took me out of the movie. Because when a movie it has a good soundtrack, you don't even notice it until the end of the movie. This movie, I would start hearing music, and I'd be like, that's an interesting choice for a song, which took me out of the film, so I didn't love that. The thing about Captain Marvel prior to her arriving on Earth is pretty boring, like, it's just not fun. I feel really conflicted on what they did with the scrolls. I think the problem I have with it is that it eliminates the potential for future stories. Like, it makes them kind of sympathetic good characters, which is the problem. I don't mind the Kree being villains at all, but I honestly just feel like making the scrolls so good and sympathetic kind of removes the potential to use them as villains in the future, which I'm not fond of. Nick lost his eye to Goose was kind of frustrating because they built it up in Winter Soldier, like, the last time I trusted somebody, I lost an eye. So the whole movie, you're kind of on your toes, like, when is something gonna happen with a scroll or Captain Marvel that's gonna get its eye scratched, and then it just happens to be the cat? That was just a major letdown for me. Besides for that, I think my biggest problem with the movie is, as I mentioned earlier, Brie Larson and Captain Marvel isn't bad. She's not bad, but she just doesn't have the same kind of charisma that like Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Mark Ruffalo, Scarlett Johansson, and so on have that makes them so good in these roles, so that's unfortunate. Honestly, I would definitely recommend the movie if you are a woman that watched and loved Wonder Woman, I would recommend it. And overall, if you're a fan of the MCU, I would recommend it. Big Captain Marvel will be tying in to Avengers Endgame. But honestly, well, just overall, I think it is a very, it's not a bad movie, but it's kind of forgettable. Like, I got home like an hour ago, and honestly, I wasn't even sure how I was going to do this review, because I don't have a ton to say. The best way I could describe this movie as it's just kind of there, it's a good movie, it just doesn't leave a lasting impact. That could be, though, be due to the fact that most of my interest in Captain Marvel goes into the fact that I want to know how she's going to tie into Endgame. But you have to remember that Doctor Strange wasn't nearly as awesome in his movie as he was in Infinity War. Like, being around other actors and other characters really enhanced Doctor Strange. So I'm really hoping this will do the same for Brie Larson, Captain Marvel, and when she's interacting with all these other people, maybe it will bring out how good she actually is in the role. Because Marvel hasn't miscast anybody before, in my opinion. All the other casting is good, so I'm going to hold out faith until I see her in Endgame. Now tell me what you saw of the movie in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, leave it a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'm probably going to be doing a live stream tonight. I just need to do a couple things, and then I'll probably be going live. When this video is up, I may already be live, and I'm probably going to be having some Captain Marvel discussion. So if you want to talk about the movie at all, go on over to that. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and above all else guys, have a great day.